Hello everyone, and today I'm going to show you how to program a shuttle signal plan on your TLD traffic lights. Now the shuttle signal plan is one of the most common ones that we deal with in technical support um, when we're setting these up. So basically, one side of the road is closed while the uh, flow of traffic rotates from one light to another. So one will be green, the other one will be red, and vice versa. So a very common uh, traffic phase that we, that we have to deal with. So to program these, all we have to do is make sure that we're at the master unit number one. So on the top right hand corner, you can see I'm at the master unit. So I'll be able to program these without any, uh, without any issues. Next, we're going to press edit. And we're going to create two traffic phases by pressing on the plus button on the right hand side. Once I have these um, traffic phases created, I'm going to want to go modify the times. So by doing that, all I have to do is press twice in signal plan number one. And at the bottom, you have intervals timings. And I can just press edit and modify the times. Now, in this case, we're dealing with traffic lights that don't have any vehicle detectors. So we're just going to focus on the minimum green, the yellow time, and the red time. For the minimum green, that's really the minimum amount of seconds that your uh, light is going to stay green. So in this case, we can just leave that at, let's say, 10 seconds. Next, we have our yellow time. So for the yellow time, three seconds by default is usually um, what we leave it at. If you feel the need to change that, by all means, go ahead. But three seconds is usually uh, how, we, how we leave that. For the red time, think of the red time as the clearance time. So basically, the time that it takes to go from one light to another uh, and just clear the entire work zone. Always be sure to put a little bit more red time uh, than necessary to make sure that there's no accidents or any any block ups or anything like that in the work site. Uh, it's, it's always worth it. One other neat trick with uh, the TLD um, controllers is that we can press in between both arrows here to actually manually set our times. So in this case, I just wanna go to 15 seconds and set it that way. Uh, if you have a uh, traffic light that uses a lot more green time, let's say one minute to one minute and a half, uh, that option is a lot faster than just clicking on the arrows and going one by one. Uh, anyway, so once I have my times selected, I'll just press apply and just confirm everything's good and press back. Now, just a quick note before pressing back, the activation method you're always going to want to make sure is on minimum recall. Minimum recall is just the default startup that we're going to have, so it's going to run everything automatically. If your units had vehicle detectors and you wanted to activate them, you would set it to call. But like I said, in this example, we're just going to focus with no vehicle detectors, so we're going to leave that at minimum recall so that everything runs automatically how we want it to. So after pressing back, we're going to do the exact same thing in traffic phase number two. The only difference here is that we're going to want this green arrow pointing to the right to point left. And the only way to do that is by pressing on traffic light number two and making it green. So basically what this does is when we activate the signal plan, the touchscreen is gonna understand that there's two sides of the road. So it's not gonna give us an error code when we activate it. So very, very important. Next, uh, I'm just gonna modify my times like I did previously. So I could leave minimum green at 10, yellow time at three, and I'll just go red time at 15. If everything's good, just gonna press apply and then back. And this is sort of your review phase. So you just wanna double check that all your times are good, that you have one arrow pointing to the right and one pointing to the left and make sure that your activation is on minimum recall. If everything looks good on your end, then you just need to press the save button here and give this signal plan a name. So we're just gonna call this one test, save it. And now we wanna activate it. So to activate, all we have to do is press play tap twice on the signal plan to activate it and activate in automatic mode. Once it's activated, you're going to see that it's going to go through a boot up phase of 15 seconds because that's the amount of red time that I put. And once that red time or boot up phase is over, it's going to kick into our first phase that we created. So 10 seconds of green, uh, three seconds yellow, and then 15 seconds red. You can also check the status here, make sure that the status is okay. And if it is, and you're running your signal plans, then you'll be good to run those for, uh, for the time that you need. And that's really all you need to know about programming a shuttle signal plan. 